Somehow or the other, I just keep winding up in these places that other people don't go. Today, I just kept going down the road, and I've just kept driving. Now I am somewhere on some dirt road in the Okanagan National Forest. You can see my view. It's a long ways down there to the Okanagan River. It's beautiful up there. I just keep driving until I don't see any people. I did just pass another like big burly four-wheel drive, and those guys were like, Man, that is such a cool car, dude! Today's lesson is in patience and perseverance. I drove and drove and drove and drove today. Across a huge burned area of the Okanagan National Forest and the Colville National Forest, everywhere I went, the campgrounds were full, the RVs had pulled over and all the boondocking spots. It was getting frustrating. I've come down uh, out of the Okanagan National Forest towards Winthrop. I'm probably just a few miles from where I went camping every summer with my mom straight down this road. I also found this beautiful feather, check it. Orange? I don't know how you make that color. It's awesome. I'm very thankful for this place. It's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna share with you some of the things that make this specific campsite that I found kind of special. So stick around, let's check out this campsite. Fantastic fire pit, well maintained, big rocks, notwithstanding some of the trash and food waste that was left in it by somebody, this is what you want to see. Bathroom, outhouse, privy, loo. This one's made of plywood, friends, and there's not one, but two. This one is a milk crate, zip ties, and toilet seat motif. This is one of those things that I'm not sure how I feel about it, like, cool that they did this and made them, but no, I'm not gonna use it. And I really don't know about just leaving it out here in the middle of the woods, it seems. So it has to be the crown jewel of this spot, is the creek, and how well it's been maintained by People who have been here before me built little retaining walls down in the creek to make pools and to slow the water down. I think they probably also put a log across the creek so we could cross and maybe collect firewood and also make another little pool. I'm going in. Back, she whispered, Oh Lord, here I come. 
come unto thee. He was my man, but he done me wrong. He was my man, but he done me wrong. Hey snakes. Hey snakes. I don't want no trouble. If I was a rattlesnake, I'd be sitting out here getting my blood hot so I could strike fast when it came time to get dinner. I'm just a walking. I'm just a talking. I'm just a singing my human song. I'm just a walking. Just a talking. Just doing my human thing. Coming on through here, making noise. Not gonna surprise any rattlesnakes today. Not today, rattlesnake! Human walking. Just looking for some berries. Hey, hey. This is a service berry tree. Service berries are new to me. I just heard about them a few weeks ago when I picked up Douglas Dewar's awesome foraging in the Pacific Northwest. I ran into these berries in Idaho. The giant tree. Twice, twice as big as this, easy. And they were terrible. I was like, yeah, service berries, whatever. These are like blueberries. Kind of like seedy blueberries, but still blueberries. Absolutely delicious. I mean, amazingly good. I don't want to be a glutton and take them all, the birds and whatnot, but I'd like to maybe try to do some things with them, so. Cool. I'm gonna make some fruit leather. All right, got myself a whole plate of service berry fruit leather here. Just mashed it up with a fork. I'm gonna set it right there in the sun. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Guessing around eight it'll be done. It's only been about four or five hours. It's looking pretty good. Leathery. Woo! Awesome. I'm gonna let that dry a little more. I like it. Fruit leather. I think it worked. There's an ant on there. Bye. Can't be squeamish when you're living in the woods. Bugs are up at everything. Wow. Okay, well, it's definitely fruit leather. Let's try it. No. It's so good. All I did was mash it, put it in the sun. Lucky man.